Hey you guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been forever that I haven't been, you know, posting anything on my YouTube channel. However, I'm very happy because I'm back and I would like to share with you some progress, some updates of my plans. But first, I wanted to thank all the people who are messaging me on my YouTube channel commenting especially on instagram telling me to make a video of this and that and i'm very happy because even though i'm not that active at the moment you guys are always there giving me support with some of the plans that i'm posting on instagram and of course some of the videos that i made from the past you guys are still commenting and asking questions so i'm very thankful and my apologies like i said I haven't been here like in forever because physically, mentally, emotionally, name it, I am very drained from the past um, few months. However, I've got the courage to go back to filming and create more content to you guys. Hopefully, if you haven't subscribed yet, do so. <laughs> and if you are not my friends on Instagram, go and check my page, Abel's Plan, and follow me there so in this video i'm going to talk about my as you guys can tell on my background my Rafi Dufour tetrasperma because a lot of you are still asking about this plant but you guys know that if you happened not to watch some of the videos that i made from the past you can always look it up on the videos i believe i have a few of them on how I look after for this plan, the tips and cares, the tips and cares, so you guys can always check that out. And of course, the fertilizer that I've been using ever since for this plant. I chose this plant mainly because it's been thriving lately. We moved here September last year and it's been a year and you guys, the progress is unbelievable compared to the progress I had from the old place, which, you know, I've got a good result as well. However, this one is really climbing and latching on the wall. And to think that I don't have a good source of sunlight in this room, I'm only using a grow light. So I just want to share with you how I'm caring for this plant lately. And especially now that we are feeling that gloomy days and cold temperature outside because you know not winter yet but it's really getting cold outside so you're not seeing it fully but i'm going to show you later on how it looks but you guys the leaves are unbelievable like they are thriving and giving me healthy leaves and huge leaves as well compared from the bottom part over here and I'm not really doing anything at the moment I'm not really fertilizing it or placing you know my osmo coat or putting osmo coat rather I'm not really watering it often because like I said it's cold outside and the temperature really varies every now and then so I'm kind of scared and especially our heater is on and off because of the weather so i wanted to show you how is the progress now like what's the update going on on this plan this is how i'll call it my underrated plan but you guys this is my favorite plan among all of my plans um i've had this plant for almost four years now since I had my my first born and since then it's been on and off uh, because you know it varies where you put it into different places especially we moved into a different place so I had this one have to adjust in the new environment but I'm very happy because this one is happy so i'm not wearing anything pest wise or root rod or anything like that this is very good in this corner like i don't have any problem at all it never gave me 
any past either so i'm very very happy and i'm very glad that even though the weather is cold outside it's still giving or producing huge leaves which i'm gonna show you now because i'm so excited i know a lot of you beginners new plant lady new plant dad if you guys are interested in you know working your your green thumb don't worry about killing a lot of plants because i've been there too all of the you know the people who you guys who you guys seeing on you on youtube and instagram they've killed many plants especially rare plants i've get i've killed a lot of rare plants as well but it takes time give patience don't lose hope it takes time and for sure you will get the right recipe whatever recipe you are doing for your plants so be patient because patience is a virtue like i said from before so let's go get closer so i can show you how it looks and how the aerial roots are thriving well and latching on the totem that i'm using and the wall so first i just want to talk about this wall i believe most of my plants are thriving mainly because of the wall the color of the wall that i did because you know i just want to kind of mimic the nature that's there in they love dark. You guys are seeing this one that likes light, but this is dark. I don't know why, maybe because of the light that I'm using at the moment, but this is dark and I don't really, you know, place the light often now because I notice they love dark area. For some reasons, they thrive more in a dark area, which, you know, we know that plants need sunlight most every day so to be able for them to grow well and you know thrive well but mostly my plants because of probably the temperature here in this room and the light that i've been giving them here and there they are not picky anymore so let's move on to getting closer so you guys can see what it looks now i'm gonna show you my plants here if you guys are seeing here this is the plant and the other one is on the hallway and it's thriving as well i'm gonna show you later on just for a reference so let's go and head into so this is the plant guys as you guys can tell it's been here for like forever since we moved in here uh, this one actually was in the other corner, but then I moved in here since I painted this wall from pink to green. I've never watered this plant in the shower anymore because you guys can tell it's hard to put it in the shower. Like, that is the plant. It's crazy. Yep, it's been a year here. And... This is the leaves, pretty huge compared to the small one. These are the aerial roots. You guys can tell that root is automatically latching on the totem that I made, which is pretty cool. And I've never watered it like for this month. I haven't watered it really which I don't know how to water it. It's just, you know, it's just growing as it is. Like for this, for this stem here, I don't know what to do. Maybe I have to latch it on the wall, like what I did for this one. But this is a huge leaf, guys. Hopefully the camera will give it a justice. But that's a huge leaf in this one as well and those are the leaves on top this is the new one you can see that i have a new 
big leaf as well. This is big. Like it's bigger than my palm. But hopefully it's really giving, you know, justice here in the camera. I'm sorry. So this is how it looks from behind. Or, sorry. From afar, I should say. So that's how it looks. I don't know how it goes in two years. Hopefully it will give me a lot of leaves on this corner. But so far, that one stem is a little bit drooping because, you know, there is no... Um, what you call this? There's no totem that is holding the stem here on top anymore. So I might have to push it on the wall and we'll see what what's gonna happen and how it's gonna look like afterwards but yeah that is my raffita for tetrasperma and this one started with this leaf i don't know i don't know what happened but this all of the, all of the leaves like all of the leaves going on top it started in this one which is pretty cool that's the only leaf that I don't have any splits on. So I'm gonna go and show you the one that's in the hallway so you guys have an idea how it is. This is the plant here in the corner. And also it is latching here on the wall now. This one, I've grown it from a propagation, like a cutting. And I'm supposed to give this one um, on one of my friends on Instagram, I'm supposed to ship this one to, I believe that DC or Vancouver. However, because of the weather and things have changed, so I've forgotten to send it for free, of course. But that's how it is now. And that's my propagation wall. I haven't been active with creating things on the wall lately but i'm happy because it's happy there's no light that it's coming through on this side because as you guys can tell it's blocking the um sunlight it's in a different uh location but it's still growing so like i said even though there is no light going into this plant or you know, you don't have a grow light, just place it in a bright area like this, it will thrive. So guys, that's all pretty much my plant update for my Rafi de Fort Tetrasperma. Thank you guys for listening and thank you again for watching. As always, if you have any questions, you can always comment down below or shoot me a message on my Instagram account. And like I said, I'm very happy that I am back to filming. And hopefully I'll be able to be more spontaneous, creating different content for my vlog. And you guys, thank you so much for listening and watching and engaging into my YouTube videos that I made from the past. And as always, like I said, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me, direct message me on my Instagram. And of course, follow me as well. So yes, guys, that's all pretty much it. Thank you, thank you for listening. Like I don't have any more words because I'm very happy because I'm back and I miss you guys so much. Well, until on my next video, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.